Hi, everyone. Time to tie up those shoes. We're going on an epic nature quest this week, and we're inviting all your classmates. Virtually, of course. For this quest, you will need a notebook and a pencil, thank you, Georgie, to record important data about any kind of animal that you encounter. It's also handy to have some sort of camera to document using pictures and videos. Now, this may seem like an odd question, but what even is an animal? Pause the video and discuss what you know. The next big question is what might be the main types of animals? We're looking for big categories here. I'll give you a start. Birds is definitely one. Pause and discuss what you think. Now, this is not all of them, but this is what we came up with. After birds, we thought of reptiles, creatures like snakes and lizards. Then we remembered insects, of course. Amphibians, those are critters like salamanders and frogs. Spiders, they are not insects, they are their own category. Mammals, a big category that includes bears, squirrels, deer, and even humans. Although we won't count us this time. And finally, other. Because you never know if you forgot a category, right? When you organize your own notebook, leave some space for recording tally marks for each kind of animal that you see. And now, time for my quest. Where to go? While I was pondering this question, I noticed a bird in my very own magnolia tree. On closer inspection, I could see that it was possibly some kind of tohi. Now, you might not be able to identify the birds when you see them. Not a problem. Just count it as a tally mark in the bird category. Next, I thought it would be fun to turn over some rocks because you never know what kind of neat things are hiding under them. So let's take a look. Ooh, I can tell who lives under here. See that web? Miss Spider is under here somewhere, but I don't see her, do you? No tallies in the spider category then. Next, I'm off to check the backyard. And in the distance, I catch some movement at the corner of my eye. Ah, yes. Two small brown birds. I believe they're song sparrows. But at the very least, they count as two more tally marks in the bird category. Now let's see what's hiding under this rather large rock. Give it a good pull, and aha, uh -huh. ooh, lots of ants. And tunnels, something is living under here. How many ants are there anyway? Okay, time to pull up just one more rock. Oh, I spotted some movement. Dig a little, I'm sure I'll find it. And, and a little more, and oh, 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 do you see it? A little iridescent beetle, beautiful. Now, this is the part where my friends come in. These videos were not recorded by me. They were recorded by my friend Lauren, who decided to explore some wet environments. What did she find? Let's take a look. Do you see that insect on the surface of the water? I do. It is a water strider. In fact, there are two of them. Two tallies for the insect category and the jackpot. Look at that beautiful little garter snake. Hummingbird, right outside of our own house. What a beauty. And this is a rather odd little home, but this is a mason bee home, and you can see it's active. They think there are about two of them there. Now it's my friend Deanne's turn. Take a look at that honeybee that she spotted. And two rather grand Canada geese. And finally, a pretty little robin on the edge of what seems like a golf course. Thank you, Deanne. This is beautiful pit meadows and two brewer's blackbirds. Film footage taken by my friend Tamara. Oh, a lovely mallard duck. And this is an animal, a squirmy little worm. Now, the category is other, but I have to let you know, it's called an annelid. And, oh, what a beautiful young deer she spotted as well. She finishes the day with two playful butterflies. Thank you, Tamara. And who is this amazing little mammal? Oh, Georgie, it's just you. Won't be counting domestics this time. 
let's take a look at all of our data. Now you can see that I've listed the data of my friends as well, and I'm looking at maybe some details and some totals. And what comes next? Well, there's a whole beautiful world out there. Got a week's worth of data to collect. Good luck, everyone.